uh, and dysfunctionally tall uh, to come forward. If y'all two, y'all two can just come forward. If y'all two, it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> If you can, yeah. So I, I need you to I need you to understand something about baptism. And if you understand this about baptism, then you'll understand how connected we are to angels. Angels had already received heaven, so they were not working to get to what their job was just. And even now, it's just to keep what they already. So what happens is, when a person gets baptized, all of their sins are washed away. Not before baptism, only after baptism. When a person gets baptized, then all of their sins are washed away. And when their sins are washed away, they receive a gift. Right? They receive a gift. Uh, does anybody have a... Uh, it's okay. Uh, they, they receive a gift. So after they get baptized, they receive heaven. Did you know that? Amen. Do you know that when you get baptized, you receive? Take it with two hands. Oh, you got, you got one hand. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I want you to care for it. And then, and then just go on. Now, now what I want you to do is I, I just want you to move on. And, and as you move along, what does he possess? Heaven. heaven. Uh, when you get, ho, ho, two hands, because it's heaven. <laughs> it's heaven. As you move along, now, as, as, and just walk slowly, just walk slowly. As they walk through life, as they get older, you don't keep walking, because you got it, you got it. As they, uh, what do they possess? Heaven. Now, now turn around this way and walk slowly this way. Now, it is the devil's job to hit you so hard. Now, the devil can't take what God gave you. He can't touch what God gave you. So it is the objective of the devil to hit you so hard that you let go of. So you got to understand about the angels. The angels had heaven. When we get baptized, we have eternal. We don't work for eternal life. We have eternal life. We have heaven, which means what? If the Lord took me right now, we die with a smile on our face because we possessed in death eternal life. That's why we encourage everybody to come hear the gospel and come and be saved so that you can have. So it doesn't matter what happens in this world because the day your number is called, it's okay. Because what do you have? And what do we do at the funeral when you're stretched out for? We say, yeah, we're sad and we're going to miss them. But they died having eternal life. And, and so you know what funerals are for? Funerals are not for the dead. Funerals are for the living. So the question that we ask before the funeral closes and before the ceremony closes is, do you have? We cry. And we're in pain because we missed them. But if they died in the Lord, they possessed what God gave them. Now, what we don't know is that through this life, the devil is trying to snatch and take what God has given you by beating you up. And some of you don't know why you're going through certain storms and you're getting a storm on either side and the devil just slapping you all over the, the side and pushing you and making you want to you wanna address me, don't you? And he'll talk in your ear. He'll talk in your ear. What you going to do? You ain't going to. And, and as you, as the devil is in your ear, have you ever heard anybody say, don't make me lay down my religion? And I'm trying to tell you this morning, don't lay it down. You know why? Because it's a trick. Because he's only picking a fight with you. He's only trying to pick a fight with you so you can let it go. And you can lay it down and you can beat the devil all up and he's laughing the whole time. Because I just, I, I caused you to let go of what I used to have. Yeah. Don't you know the devil is jealous of you? Yeah. Because what you possess is what he used to have. Yeah. Notice this, the devil is an angel that fell. Yeah. So he knows how it feels to possess eternal life. Verse six is saying the angels 
that did not keep their first estate. Did you see that in your text? The angels that did not keep their first estate, they were punished because they voluntarily let go. They thought that they could pursue their own will and hold eternal salvation at the same time. So what we have to learn in Christianity is don't ever, don't ever let it go. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Don't ever let it go. So it don't matter if the devil get in your face and you go to work on tomorrow and somebody's bothering you. What you gonna do? I'm gonna use y'all again. Y'all stay there by. Y'all give them a round of applause. So he says this. 